Fuck it, know. we'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Yeah. Fuck it. Well, fuck it, we'll do it live. Let's fuck it and do it live. This is Stumbling Down History Road. Today we're going to be talking about CBD. I am Jackson. Next I to me. I am Joe. I'm Garrett. Unfortunately, D. So this may sound similar to the episode that we did on marijuana. Uh, wow. And that's because... We it, did an episode on marijuana? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, you were in it. You probably don't remember it. Nope. Because you were too fucking high. It was good marijuana, I guess. It As it turns out, uh, that is one of the notable side effects of THC, which is one of the uh, cannabinoids involved in uh, marijuana, hemp, that type of shit. But we're going to be talking about some of the other ones. Um, CBD is full of other cannabinoids, and um, they're the ones that are immediately responsible for uh, the health benefits that come with marijuana. Um, your regular THC cannabis is good for certain things, um, but there are a whole ton of different health benefits that CBD has that um, haven't been tapped into yet. Uh, they haven't had full clinical trials, um, and it's just a really exciting time now that it's becoming legal, and there are a lot of people focusing on funding for it not just the government, but private entities as well. And uh, hopefully in the future, we'll get some more attention and we can actually have proof of what these amazing cannabinoids can do for the human body and to improve our health and our overall lifestyle. So I know that there, as uh, from doing a little bit of research on this, has been a lot of talk of like endocannabinoid system and things like that. Uh, does anybody know anything about that other than the guy sitting directly next to me? Um, I mean, I kind of have a, a general idea of it, but I'm not really going to say that I'm a full-on you know, know-it-all about it. Uh, so, I mean, Fair Joe enough. is probably going to be the one to talk <coughs> more about the, um, the clinical stuff and, and that, that kind of breakdown of it. Uh, he might be the closest thing to an expert we have. Just like on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We're actually going to break the cycle of having... Uh, just us asshats. Just a bunch of fucking <laughs> idiots pretending like we know what's going on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the one guy from so one of the things that um, that you had mentioned, Joe, that I, I think is important because uh, you you'd mentioned that uh, now that weed is legal, we can start to really tap into the, um, just the, me the medicinal uh, benefits of it all. But it's kind of like um, sparked the push for marijuana to be legalized. You think that's accurate or? May I real quick? So I think that a lot of it came down to the realization that it was nowhere near as demonized as the douchebag Harry J. Anslinger. Uh, I'm going to pronounce it correct this time. Uh, made it out call to call back. Sing. Yep, call back to the marijuana episode. Still a fucking racist. Uh, like he made it seem. And I think that really, really helped it especially be a big push because it was actually decriminalized in Oregon back in, like, 74. It wasn't, like, legal, but it was just decriminalized. But Yeah, there's a lot... Um, there's a lot of attention that was brought to cannabis when we were talk about vets and PTSD... Um, that, I feel like, is one of the main pushes that helped legalize cannabis and marijuana. Um, people with post-traumatic stress disorder generally benefit from high THC cannabis, um, not necessarily the cannabinoids uh, and the properties found in CBD. So that's been something that's been studied in, in depth. Um, obviously, our veterans are important, and they work for the country, so there's a good amount of federal funding uh, that goes into that kind of research. So that kind of opened the door, uh, in my opinion. But there's always a hundred other small things, factors that played into effect as well. Um, CBD being legalized uh, in certain states early on gave a, a lot of opportunity for not research necessarily, but some trial and error. Um, Unfortunately, these aren't trial and error research programs that 
are writing down all of the uh, the anal analytical aspects of the uh, you know the benefits uh, afterwards, but um, that's something that we're trying to do now. And I feel like that kind of opened the door for people to be more, more open-minded. Yeah, well, exactly. So once, I, I, yeah, I, I would believe that too. Because once you start to connect, um, you know, all these properties that are helping people to this, you know, plant that was once demonized, it starts to open up the doors for people to say, you know, if it's going to help, then why why hold it you know hold it back you know if it's helping people which it, it obviously is then there is no reason to keep it a, you know a, a, a controlled substance where nobody can do any research on it nobody can really do any clinical studies without you know being uh, you know maybe possibly lose their license or lose funding um, you know so that's a very important aspect I think if there was no medicinal uses I think that we would still kind of just be like uh oh please when the new york first de uh new york first legalized it uh for med uh, medicinal trying to get the uh the license a, a fucking card for it or find a dispensary was like uh trying to get a fucking root canal i didn't even bother doing it and uh, right. i'm a as well just kept it legal illegal. primary beneficiary of of these things i broke my neck um, back in 2000 and I've been a quadriplegic for 23 years now and I suffer from spasms, seizures, all sorts of ailments, pain, chronic pain, acute pain um, and I have been a cannabis user throughout that whole time. It's benefited me and I didn't know how or why you know, certain strains would help me more than others but um, up until recently, through COVID, I, I decided to go to school and get a, de a, a college degree level degree on medicinal cannabis. And I learned why those strains helped me more than others. It was because the cannabinoids that were found in certain strains and not in others. The thing is that CBD has these cannabinoids in larger concentrations. So you're getting more of that. So I was just going to actually ask, sorry to cut you off. So is it more mm -hmm. of the fact that it's certain cannabinoids are found in certain strains, or is it a denser amount of, you know, CBDA or CBD, whatever, in particular strains that cause the particular uh, so, effect? So are you asking about, like, the difference between indica and sativa? No, well, because I mean, that, that's, I, like, that's on different. a broader I, spectrum. I'm, I I'm saying more along is, the lines uh, of, like, you know, take two separate strains that are indicas or two separate strains that are sativas. Okay. But well, they might have... It's the terpenes. It's yeah, I mean... The essential oils that have characteristics. Now... That's going to be the same thing with, like, anybody trying to grow hot peppers. You can breathe them into being spicier. You can breathe them into more THC. You can breathe them into more right. CBD. Uh, one of the big first ones was the, uh, the little girl with uh, epilepsy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Charlotte, they grew the one that had that spe uh, the certain type of CBD in higher concentrations and called it Charlotte's Web for her. Mm -hmm. Now, that's hard. Now, CBD um, can help. It is actually 10 times more potent than a typical pain reliever like a, an Incid or, or a Tylenol. But getting that concentration at the, the site in the body where it needs to you know, do its job, it's harder to get that kind of a concentration in the body to sit at that spot and join the, those CB2 receptors and do what it's got to do. And that's what we need more research. Um, and we also need to learn how to kind of um, approach certain illnesses and pains directly in the body without, you know, having it go throughout the entire body and get broken down. Um, wash down kind of we want to concentrate it and put it at certain areas like prostate okay prostate gets uh suppositories inflamed oh that's a good question but um it's hard you can't ingest cbd and have it just localized in the prostate yeah. you're gonna get a little bit that goes and flushes over it 
and then once it's flushed out of your system, it's gone. You need to consistently take CBD twice, three times a day, and have it always kind of like washing over those organs or those parts inside your body so that it can constantly be there and continually be effective. Coated, pretty much. It's, yeah, it's exactly. Basically, yeah. It's basically coating mm -hmm. the body. It's providing like an enamel. Right. Uh, almost, yeah. You couldn't possibly take a pill that big. <laughs> the suppository reference. pill is that's, reference, reference. that's a, a real thing that I learned about. But, yeah, I mean, like, there's topical things that people use for, like, lidocaine effectively. Uh, there's, you know... Uh, oils or turpentines that are suspended in different types of oils, like MCT and you know, shit like right. that. And they'll be, you know, using a dropper in order to help, you know, with pain, help with headaches, help with sleeping, shit like that. I use CBD as a little dropper just to, because I fucking lift all the time. <laughs> I'm always sore. Yeah, it's really good for anti-inflammatory and for... Um, cell growth and, and regrowth. I have a roller and a dropper that you gave me b both of for this. Yep. And yet you don't use. I try to remember to use it. <laughs> but I, that goes uh, back again. You know, once you stop using it, it kind of gets worse. It's one one of those things that you kind of need to always oh. put on. It's a therapy. It's either that or and literal cancer lotions. Getting or, into uh, getting into the word therapy, that's going to open a whole other can. But cannabis in general isn't a magic pill, just like anything else. These things are all beneficial when you apply group therapy. Uh, you can't get rid of back pain by just getting high all day. You need to stretch. You need to swim. Low, you know, low stress training. You need to do a whole bunch of different things. Walk around. Physical therapy. You can't grow exactly. muscle without doing anything to help you grow the muscle. Right. And most of the time, back pain is caused by muscle. Most of the time. Not all the time. Mm -hmm. Right. But, yeah. Uh, aren't you somewhat licensed as a physical therapist? No. I am a personal trainer. Not even close to a physical therapist. <coughs> Those guys are basically doctors. But... I am not. Uh, I am also not a nutritionist. I am also not a dietitian. Those guys have you different basically certificates. You play a doctor on TV, though. Yeah, I could probably play a doctor on TV. I got a doctor <laughs> voice. I and also glasses. have doctor handwriting. And, and glasses. No one can read it. What's up? No one can read it. Uh, very poor, yeah. Our guy Max that works here, he definitely has doctor handwriting. <laughs> you know that's on purpose? What, the doctor handwriting? Explain. Uh, <laughs> they don't want anybody to be able to just copy the scripts. Yeah. So they make it, like, as Basically, illegible like, as possible. Each doctor has their own particular style of writing that the pharmacist kind of gets to learn and figure out. So this way it's harder for uh, people to try and, like, fake scripts and shit. You actually ever see that? that so that's what they spend eight hours trying to put tiny pills in a bottle? They're really just verifying, like... Well, no, you know what they're actually doing? No, they're actually sitting okay, there that looks like, like his the own. powders and shit and fucking putting it into little capsules and shit. Like, they have to mix the powder and But what about the shit. tablets? Because there's a lot of tablets. That's a different thing. But if it's like a powder and like a capsule, they, some, a lot of times they're actually like making it, like scooping it out and measuring it and shit. So now I heard somewhere, getting back to CBD, that it was actually discovered in 1940. Like, that's when it was... Discovered by clinical trials by a uh, Harvard professor, a Harvard something like that. I don't know his name. It's something with an H and an it A. It was probably something with C B N D. No. It was probably like Charles um, Bernard. Charles Big Dick. Charles Big Dick. There oh, you go. Yo, Big that Dick. dude was fucking the Harvard professor. Charles, Charles Big Dick. Let's swinging go. Swinging that shit. CBD. Like, Yo, they were I like, this is invented this shit. <laughs> yeah, they were probably like, this is too inappropriate to call for regular things. Yeah. So despite the fact that it was surrounded by racism. But yeah. He can't go to Harvard, have money, and have a big dick. That no, doesn't work. That's and have something named after him. Yeah. No. That's yeah. It's that, a yeah. It's some too people. Much. Some people have all the fucking money. It's a micro. <laughs> you know that guy's driving a fucking Ford fucking F500. <laughs> He's compensating. Who was it that did the joke that uh, the smaller the car, the uh, because they're not compensating, the bigger the dick? Mm -hmm. uh, who was that made? So the girls would uh, jeer at the guys with the tiny cars and shit. 
Oh, what the fucking show was that? I don't know, but real men drive minivans. That's Dude, I got a fucking answer. Prius. I spend like 30 bucks a week at most on gas. That's pretty good. Yeah, he's got a Prius. Like, I don't 2010 have a Prius. Prius? It's like, at most, it's 30 bucks, and that's a whole week. Although, now I gotta get it fixed, but... See, this is why we call it Stumbling Down uh, History Road, because (laughs) we went from CBD talking to... Fucking Priuses? To Priuses gas mileage. (laughs) To Charles Big Dick. And Charles Big. Yes, there was a a natural progression. Let me just wrap up the CBD thing real quick. No, we're not going to wrap it up. We've got plenty of time. Okay. We've got plenty of time. Well, well, got plenty. This, whole thing is, this whole thing is about you. Because we were so talking don't, about... Don't blow the, your load all at once. This, talking about the cannabinoid receptors, right? Yeah. We, that's, somewhere in there, that's yes, That's a very we were. interesting... There's some interesting <laughs> stuff about that. Yeah, that. please. Go ahead. Please, cool. because me, most of the time... I'm guessing you've never watched any of the... No, I'm new. Nonsensical stuff that goes on behind this fucking desk. Most of the time, table. it's me trying to ring things back in, getting upset at these two, yeah, or whoever two. else is in the middle. So I'm like right where I need to be. I'm yeah. between you and him. Yeah, and he's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. As, it, as it goes further this way, we know less and less about the subject. That's why I sat here. <laughs> Except for me. We should probably switch. Yeah, Except for yeah, you I guys think maybe the Gundam one where I was trying But this to, is yeah, your like, shit, so... <laughs> oh yeah, no, we did. Oh, you. The pro, our probably the most stumbling one is the psychedelics one. Notice how he's almost off camera. Next episode, he's gonna be out the fucking. He'll be sitting in the parking lot. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do have to cut a lot out of a lot of episodes, so maybe that's the most stumbling down. That's mm. definitely it up. That's definitely up there. What psychedelics? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know we had to cut some stuff for Adult personal s- reasons, but yeah. Adult Swim was uh was cut a good amount. Adult we, Swim, we cut the whole fucking thing because somebody forgot to turn it on. No, no, no. The, so the, the whole shit got the cut. Lost episodes. <laughs> lost episodes. <laughs> lost episodes. <laughs> CBD receptors. Let's go. CBD I don't even want to know what happened with the... Uh... <laughs> no, we did, like, we recorded whole episodes, then due it to, was like... like <laughs> It was like two hours long, by the way. This is getting cut. It's no, like two it's not. hours This long. is all a part of it. This is not it's establishing lore. I forgot real quick that you could edit this. Yeah. So I was going to like... So he's about the, to whip his fucking dick out, so get ready to fucking press the sensor. Yeah, shit's about <laughs> oh, yeah, to get real the weird. Sensor button. Oh, we even got sensor <laughs> Yep. Oh, shit. You got a sensor button? Yeah. Yo, yeah. yeah, practical <laughs> really, jokers. We abused the shit out of that. We're doing that the other day. But, uh, I was wondering how. But, um, yeah. So... All right, so here's some cool shit. I don't know if anybody... Yeah, please. Oh, yeah, we're still talking about CBD. CBD. Yes, we are. That's the whole reason why we're here. So we're gonna, I'm going to talk about real quick... Charles Big Dick. Charles Big Balls, small dick, <laughs> from Harvard. Oh, you mean a gorilla. And, uh, yeah, he made up gorilla glue. And uh, so... <laughs> well, uh, I'm not going to answer that. We have, <laughs> we have two receptors uh, that... Uh, THC and CBD bind to. We have our CB1 receptors and our CB2 receptors. The CB1 receptors are heavily uh, located in the brain. Uh, There are some throughout the body. CB2 receptors are found throughout the body and not so much in the brain. The coolest thing is that neither are found in the brain stem. And this fact is why humans can't overdose and die from an overdose from marijuana. I was going to say, how much marijuana do you have to inject to an overdose? You don't. You just slow your breathing down enough that you... Two whole marijuana. That's more for animals and probably edibles. Delta 11. Oh, well, that that stuff. I don't know. The fucking... That Delta 11. Delta's not real. No, 11 is simply what your liver converts Delta 9 into when you eat edibles. It's uh, See, four to ten times more. Potent. So, like, the Delta THC stuff doesn't do shit for me. Although, the THC P, which is apparently THC with, like, two extra chemical chains bullshits, that got me fucky. Hmm. Well, do you, do you get high on edibles? Uh, it has to be a high concentration, but yes. Okay, so that's Delta 11. Like a, like a thousand milligram bottle? Okay. Or like a so, hash rosin gummy or... As it turns out, the reason that that got me messed up was apparently there's a... He puts a chemical additive in it as a preservative that fucks with some people's stomachs. That's what happened. 
Some people metabolize delta nine differently in the liver, and it doesn't turn to delta eleven. So. Uh, this is a whole thing with some people who do edibles that are kind of shady. Not sponsored. Uh, not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Yeah, yeah. I bought a. Th I bought it was like a thousand milligram, uh, like drink drink of THC. That you're supposed to mix. I mean, I mixed it in Allegedly. my belly with something else, a bit of soda. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I pretty much drank the whole thing in about 20 minutes, and I ended up getting sick as a dog. And it turns out, apparently, the guy who makes it when this they is um, not sponsored, between, I don't even remember who the hell he got it, but apparently, there's like, when he makes it, he puts like a preservative into it or something that can mess with people's stomachs. If the, and that's what did it, not the THC fucking with me. Oh, shit. Allegedly, but. I thought allegedly. it was one of my drinks, not sponsored. Uh, it could be. It could sponsor us. No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't you. We could it say sponsored by somebody, but not yet. Okay. But, yeah, <laughs> no, I didn't buy it. No, I, I, I remember the guy. It wasn't you. It was another guy. Okay, good. Yeah, because I don't use that. I use flour. We should also mention, I know we're like 10, 15, 20 some odd minutes into this, uh, that we are in New York and all of this is legal in New York. Find out your state laws and what applies to you on your own time. Mm -hmm. You well, can find that at the library because there's probably a guy behind it selling drugs. True. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna just wrap this up real quick. No wrap. Oh, no, 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 not the whole thing. It's just, <laughs> just the receptor thing. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Hey. CB1, CB2. Yeah. I was so, listening. The CB2 one in the brain is what THC binds to. So wait, is so sorry to cut you off. So no, you're saying please. that in the brainstem, there is none of these receptors, which Correct. is why you don't die. So then. That's well, what, yeah. In the brainstem, there are, you know, dopamine receptors Correct. and all those. So that's why people yes. overflood, and then they awesome. overdose. And then they get anxious yes. and panic exactly. attacks because they have too many THCs. So then, then, well, the THC, the high, the high level of THC is what causes the, the. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be balanced out by CBD. Which is actually something cool that I learned. So I know we keep cutting you off, which is no, no, these part are of actually the, good points. Part There's of the stumbling of down fun. process. But, um, There's I, two very experienced smokers, you, and then I just do at least like the bare minimum research. I so, listen to a different podcast. So one of the one of the cool things that I learned was that if you are starting to feel over anxious or you know like paranoid from too much smoking, you know, too a too high concentrate THC, you can actually smoke. A high CBD concentrate and it'll like level everything out on you. So, mm -hmm. and you won't be, you know, like sort of like you might be up here, you smoke that and you kind of like. Right. And actually, which is pretty freaking cool. What actually is happening too is they're enhancing each other, but they're, by balancing them out, you're enhancing the CBD and um, its benefits are going to be more potent. So, uh -huh. It's cool because it's working together to get stronger, but at the same time, you're feeling less anxious. But and that goes into a... Is that part of the, the whole medical benefits of the, whole, of the CBD taking over the more psychedelic part of it? I guess that just is a product of hybridization and um, genetic modifications to make the THC cannabis stronger. Mm. And also the CBD flower. There's really different levels of CBD flower out there, just like there are THC. Yeah. You know, there's plenty of stuff you can get, sixty dollars an ounce that is looks like hemp, with sprayed crystals on it, and it's don't smoke that shit. Doo doo. No. Don't, don't touch it. Don't do don't, it. No. 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 Don't. No. I'm telling you, uh, witnessing it. Um, back when I was a CEO. Don't fuck with K2. That shit will give you a seizure. Don't fuck with synthetic weed. I've seen way too many people having fucking hardcore seizures on the goddamn floor from smoking that shit. To know, don't fuck with synthetic weed and K2. I don't give a fuck how cheap it is, what type of good fucking how you think you're going to get. It's not worth the fucking bullshit that comes with it. You smoke real... You sp you don't have to spend a million bucks. There's New York. There's a million pl places. If you spend a little bit more money and get quality cannabis, it's 
going to last longer. You don't yep. need to smoke the you whole don't need as much. blunt. You need to just take a bond grip. You're good. Yep. So that said, so, people do eventually build up tolerances. Yeah. I know this from watching some personal experiences. Actually, believe it or not, I kind of have a bit of a, a scientific reason as to why it's also partially fuck you on my fault. As it turns out, there's a uh, chemical in lemon that there's a chemical in weed uh, that uh, neutralizes your high. So, like, if you want to neutralize a high, you like drink lemon juice and shit. And Is that true? Because uh, there's also the mango, the mango thing, where if you eat mango. Well, that's because those are different fruits. Oh, like, that's this is like, no, but I'm saying, like, is it... Humaline, terpene. So but, if you have a weed that has, like, a certain terpene, like, limonene is a terpene, it's found in citrus, and you have lemon, it can enhance the but, high. Uh, but, I, I drink so, a lot of lemon iced tea, which has lemon extract in it, so that's probably also messing with my tolerance of smoking as I'm... So... so I just found that out like a couple months ago. So now, I know we're kind of digressing, but before I forget this, we're I'm still on the same point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget it's gonna happen. So I want to just ask That's you. That's the so, THC. Now, <laughs> they, they can. Uh, it's crazy because you can buy, you can buy flour, you can buy pre rolls, you can buy CBD in so many forms. So I guess my question is, it's probably like sophomore or whatever but um if if i buy a f like if, say i have this bag that i got and it's cbd now the thc they extracted they turn that thc into like hash or something like that so like so almost like the indians nothing is good that's why that's why weed also there's so many properties to it that just make it such a beneficial plant to so many different um, whether it's textile, clothing. Well, that's more just, hemp. But I'm saying, to but just like the plant in itself. Like, Subtle differences. It's, but it's still, it's still the plant. It's a derivative yeah. of the plant. So like, there's just so many benefits to it that it's just been propaganda, propaganda, proper. This propaganda demonized. has been, been demon. It's been demonized by the propaganda. You can't say words. So, but it's just it's crazy that like you can take the fucking flower and just leave certain properties in there that you want for particular reasons. Genetic modification. And just modify it. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah Texas had that. Uh, Texas was kind years. of really fucky about that. It's, it's just... Yeah, I mean, how do you think we... the science, like, allows yeah, things like that to happen. So. How, do you, how do you think we still have bananas? Like, bananas went away. But we have, oh, you yeah. know, fake bananas now. They're basically just... A derivative of a specific banana, yep. mm -hmm. because we ate the original banana to extinction. No, 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 no. It was a fungus. It was a fungal infection that wiped it out the crop. Yeah, we have that. We have like a thousand different potatoes. Yeah, all the banana yeah. candy. That banana flavoring is actually based off the original bananas that were wiped out by that fungal infection. And the minute, uh, but the bananas that we're eating now is a separate subspecies of banana that's also. In danger again because there's a fungal infection possibly going about. Yeah, I mean Just again, like we're in danger of losing chocolate. New banana. I mentioned it with, uh, I mentioned it with peppers as well. Like things are just bred to be better in certain ways. Sure. Like and people worry about genetics and their food. It's, it's a form. What of is GMO? Everything's evolving. Things are evolving. Yeah, no, no. Girl, what is GMO? It's it's not no, a well, evolution really yeah. force. Yeah, GMO is a very good strain of weed. <laughs> Monsanto I don't understand sponsor this. us. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand this. But uh, so CBD comes from something called CB uh, CBGA, right? Oh, uh, cannabid. No, cannabid. Cannabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidabidab
off of the THC and making the THC and activating it. But it's the same thing with CBD. CBD A is the inactive form. Sorry. So I could have swore that I found something that said something about like all the different cannabinoids come from CBG and CBGA. That's what I was referencing. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's there's a lot of truth to that. The basic two are the CBD, CBG, and everything is kind of a derivative of that. They're, they're learning so much about cannabinoids now and terpenes. Uh, they think there's like over 400 cannabinoids. But the cool thing about the, the terpenes too, like... Uh, terpenes being just the oil that's produced from it, right? Yes, okay. right. So terpenes, I want to talk about that for a minute, because um, they're super important. Which is now because... Uh, um, and you were talking about, like, before with the mango, mm. like, caryophyllene is the one in pepper. That's uh, responsible it's a very, for indica. Which is, it's a very popular... Yeah, taste. because people breed cannabis to be indica uh, or sativa or hybrid. So you, you're going to see a lot of that, a lot of myrcene, a lot of limonene. Um, but there's so many more that have properties that are more health benefit uh, so it's forward. actually in these terpenes, the different terpenes, more so than, like the cat, the CBD. That's, effect, that has Correct. the different in, T, in THC cannabis. So, but these terpenes, um, you know, can be enhanced. Like if you're gonna have the caryophyllene, the pepper, and you have black pepper, it's gonna enhance the f effect in your body. Uh, in nature, in the plant, what these things actually do. And they're not just found in cannabis plants. These same terpenes are found in plants all over the place, uh, all different species. And what they are used for are actually like uh, deterring insects from eating them, their flowers. Um, I'm not sure which, I think limonene might be one, the citrus, but it deters yeah, insects from the, um, eating their, their stuff? flowers. That's what because makes peppers see? spicy too. Yeah, it's all related. So even like the best terpenes extracts in the country, um, they might not be derived from cannabis. That's too expensive. They're 99.9% .9 exactly the same, but they're derived from other plants. So, so then they, so then would they just add a little bit of the THC into say like, they were just like, like a lemon zest almost? They would just add, like they would take the, they would take the, um, the chemical, the terpene from the lemon, and then they would, because probably some, from cause another they, plant, because they do have like terpenes right. that are high in in certain, because like you said, you can't you can't take. It's well, expensive you, to do it. Take, yeah, so like if you would take just like lemon extract, sort of, and then. I add, know what you're saying. Yeah, like if you if you could concentrate in nature. Um, a cheap version of limonene that's not from a cannabis plant. And then, yes, I actually purchase these uh, products, and they're, they're great. And you can add them to anything, really. Um, but Because you also you do that. You make stuff like that as well. Sure, sure. So that's also, like, that's because he's a, a mad scientist with the, uh, with the, with the extra, uh, with the um, infusions. But that's pretty much what they do when you buy uh, like a cartridge a pen, mm -hmm. disposable, like those oils that you smoke. The, the little droppers, things like that too? Um, no, pretty much just talking about like distillate. Okay. Distillate is um, flavorless, it's concentrated. It's very high concentrate. They'll add some terpenes back in. Sometimes the companies will take the, the terpene from the plant um, as part of their, their process and extract that separately and then add it back in into their wax or shatter or whatever they make with so, the concentrate after so the effect. Correct me if I'm wrong, I probably am, usually am. This guy will tell you. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, he's usually the one that fact checks me all the time. Our statistician is not here to help us with that also. Um, so distillate is usually, because it's such high concentrate, that's usually like what they'll give to somebody with like some severe seizures and like you know something along those lines to help them yeah any kind of concentrate really benefits uh, 
Like for me, uh, I, I suffer from spasms and seizures from all different levels. Um, there are very specific types of cannabis flower that work better than 80% of the THC flower, um, no matter how high the THC concentrated, because it's the certain terpene profile that actually benefits those. Um, so it's not about getting high necessarily. However, when it comes to a seizure, uh, really, really intense things like that, yeah, you need to concentrate. Like uh, there's uh, tons of cases of infants that suffer from seizures, um, all sorts of really messed up stuff. And these children are being fed concentrations that would knock any yeah. 400 pound man, weight heavy. Lift, Knock Heavy them smoker. Out. But these kids have been on these on these doses from, you know, the start. And they're functioning. And they're not having seizures yep. seven times a day, eight, ten, twelve times a day. They're having them like maybe once, once a month, twice. maybe once every two months, and they're small and they go away. And it's only because they're weaning the kid down and they're actually you know, on a lower dose that they're actually getting these small amounts of seizures, but, you know, that's a quick fix. So, I'm trying to, I gotta, you can continue, because I gotta try to figure out You gotta out postulate how, your thoughts? Yeah, I gotta figure out how long it works. So, wait, I was gonna say, so, uh, in terms of, like, the, uh, the, the, with the bugs and trying to, the plants trying to not get eaten, the peppers, that's actually why peppers are spicy. Capsaicin, yeah. And believe it or not, the only animal that uh, is that doesn't actually feel the effects of capsaicin are birds because they're meant to eat the peppers whole and yep. then poop out the uh, the, the seeds, seeds as elsewhere. they fly and stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And we just breed the capsaicin because we enjoy the punishing We're assholes. ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, you it's can, highly toxic to a lot of other animals too. You can you can talk to me about uh, capsaicin. I fucking love capsaicin. <laughs> I'm a dick. <laughs> oh, I've put I've put pure. Uh, I've done uh, when I was a CEO. I've put a uh, pepper spray. Yeah, the OC spray in my uh, ramen a couple times. <laughs> yeah, I have a uh, not pure, not good idea. <laughs> I have a capsaicin extract, uh, and I may or may not have added it to some sauce once or twice, and it may or may not have been incredibly fucking painful. Can't confirm. I've been trying to con- like I've been trying to say you should do like a speaking a of slice look- challenge for, with this pure shit season extract here. Speaking <laughs> of, uh, look forward to our uh, joint venture with, to uh, have infused hot sauce. Let's go. I make infused hot sauce. Yeah. All right. Let's go. You can infuse anything, man. Yeah. You can infuse your toothpaste if you want. You can infuse toothpaste. Sure, why not? Can can you infuse suppositories? Yeah. Jesus Christ, we're not back on the suppositories. <laughs> I really can. <laughs> we get it. You like Futurama. I'm re-watching it with my wife because she's watching it for the first time. I'm sorry. All the references are still It is fresh. a fantastic show. I, I, will, I will not deny that. It is a fantastic show. Not sponsored. Uh, Futurama, please sponsor us. Matt Groening, I would love some of your money. <laughs> and oh, they're coming be back. They are coming back. Can I be a little side character? I'll do a voice. But, yeah. Uh, Futurama, awesome. Infusing things like suppositories. Weirdo. Uh, but yeah, Too much time in the hands. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about how we like actually extract serpent- the, turpento- uh, the turpentines and some of these anobinoids. Let's just kind of you know, do a little overview of some of the science. Sure, so actually, it, I was gonna mention that, that's a perfect question, perfect uh, point. So a lot of times when uh, these companies uh, that do extracts, they make wax and shatter and whatever, crumble, they're all just extracts. Shatter. They take their custom isopropyl alcohol derivative, blend. yeah, their own custom blend and um, See, what happens is a lot of times the terpenes, they cook off at a lower temperature, so they get extracted first. That process isn't always built to 
make those terpene extracts as pure as like what I was saying, where you can get it from a company that just does terpene extracts from other plants. Uh, there's little evidence that supports the terpene effects, but I am living proof of it. Like I explained earlier with the, the seizures and spasms and certain uh, strains of, of cannabis that, that help more than others. Um, but the thing is they don't really focus on those. So they might not be as pure. They get tossed out. Or they're more so focusing on quantity over quality yes. type of a thing? Well, the end product. Yeah. The end product and the purity of that. So the, connect, the, the byproduct of, of the carbon um, that gets used to extract, sometimes it gets thrown separately into uh, a vat. It looks like, like sea foam. Um, but sometimes that gets into the terpenes as well, part of that process. Because, it's, like I said, it's more about the end product being perfect. Yeah. So sometimes, not all the time, there are companies that will put the money in and the time in. And that's just, you know, part of well, what you got to find out. Doing who, your research. Who you like, yeah. yeah. Expensive research. But... Uh, Yes, yeah, so when it, they do put that back in, sometimes it adds a little bit of a um, artificial or a, a chemically ta chemical taste, I which mean, is a big turnoff for, for a lot of concentrated connoisseurs. You you can you can get shatter from a uh, a hair press and some wax paper if you're really feeling adventurous. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways to. Because I mean, you, you you just take it and put yeah, it but that's in. more so for the THC. We're talking about like the turpentine, uh, the turpentine, and actually like getting it for the salve. Well, he was talking about the concentrate. Yeah, well, they're he's, part, they're both <coughs> extracted in the same process with the THC cannabis. You're separating the two. So yeah, I was talking more about like seeing the droppers, the salve, things like that, as well. Of of like the actual. Uh, terpene CBD. concentrates? Yeah, like CBD, just like the thing that somebody, let's say, went to, I don't know, vitamin shop or insert local store here and, you know, was like, all right, let's get some CBD. I heard it's, you know, great for pain relief. So there's, there's full spectrum CBD, which is just a big blend um, of all the different terpenes. But then there's, you can make, so I have different patients. Um, that I deal with all the time, uh, where I make custom blends, where I have you know a ton of different CBD flower. Um, if they have the need for uh, anti-inflammation, I'll concentrate that type of flower specifically. If they're dealing with a pain, then I'll use a different type of flower, and I'll blend them up to focus on that ailment specifically. So you can buy terpenes that are like linalool is, is one, or um, there's, um, like I said, caryophyllene, myrcene, pinene, lim uh, li limonene, there's shit, I can't remember all, so many. Yeah, it's, it's fine. And we're supposed it's to weed. chemicals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everything's But these chemicals are nature. Like, it's so cool when you learn. Like, yeah, the one thing with the bug deterrent, the other one blocks. It's actual, like, coming from nature as opposed yeah. to just, like, all right, well, uh, let's mix some random shit together and then throw in some preservatives. And there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Mm -hmm. So that kind of, like, leads back into what my question is. And I think I finally figured out how to Posture. get it out there. I've also been uh, zoning out on my microdose. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> We're talking about all of the the different terpenes and stuff, and the uh, lemonine and, and all these things. So, like, you know how they'll say, you know, eat, you know, add pepper to certain things or turmeric to this, and it'll help with, you know, di digestion. It'll help with this. It'll help with that. That's pretty much the exact same thing as how it is with wheat. So, like, if you extract the um, the terpene that has like the more uh, peppery flavor and like the indica, is like you were saying that terpene will help with something similar to adding pepper to your, um, to like your home remedy concoction? Yes and no. Uh, like the pepper specifically uh, is, 
is for pain in, in the cannabis plant. Mm. The pepper enhances the, the terpene effect. The pepper alone, I'm not necessarily sure if it would have any benefits, for if pain. that's what you're asking. Yeah. 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 So, so I think what you're saying is like the, the cannabinoid... Act both. similar to the, the, the turpentine that it's related to acts similar to the actual fruit that you would be extracting, you know, just like eating a lemon from. Well, and the health benefits like that, because turmeric has been shown to be an anti-inflammatory. Uh, tart juice, uh, tart cherry juice has been shown to be an anti-inflammatory. Garlic has been used for medicine since God knows how long. Yeah, things like that. So are you asking if the specific turpentine associated with it in can, uh, cannabis has similar medicinal effects well, as the thing that it's basing the as the derivative okay. so that it's from. I think what it is is the CBD though. turpentine yeah. though uh, causes it to both enhance and be able to uh, act it, similar to it, it both it, it like makes it more the receptor more responsive and enhances the effect of the thing because there's uh, the receptor is more responsive because the CBD is making it more responsive. I think that might be. I think that's so what might what be going on there. What it is on a molecular level, um, and you're very correct. But uh, just to ex explain it like that, real quick. Um, hey. Sometimes you have carrier molecules that help bring the actual molecule that's going to bind to the binding site to it uh, and that would be an enhancing molecule so sometimes having that extra little bit in your body helps it just get to where it needs to go that's all does that answer your question yes good now go fuck yourself excellent <laughs> i'll do that now would you take a step back <laughs> that was and really go fuck your own face <laughs> reference uh, we loosely touched on it with the marijuana episode, but none of us there were experts. I just had two people who really like to smoke and my little amount of research. Yeah. What actually is, like, the main difference between CBD and THC? Obviously, you know, they're different, uh, like, chemical compounds purely based off of, like, THC is tetrahyde something and uh, CBD is something else. But, like... I, I explain as best as you can, please. Sure. Um, Me that's dumb. A, that's a good question. Um, THC, tetrahedral cannabidiol. Sure. Cannabinol, cannabidiol. I don't forget. It's been a while since school. <laughs> but um, that goes back to the CBD, the CB1 receptor. Um, okay. Now, so you know how. The brain works with pain meds, um, especially like opioids. opiates. Correct. They bind to receptors in the brain that block the pain. They don't actually go and help heal your pain site. Yeah, it's just a. It's just basically putting a band aid on. Signal. Yeah, it's basically putting like a a band aid on or. A piece of it's tape like, over a it's, hole. It's literally yeah. like disconnecting your brain from, from the pain. Like, picture like, if you have a fucking champagne bottle that somebody shook up, and now all the fucking champagne shooting out, and then they just <laughs> stuck the cork back in. No, no, that's, no. That's what. That better, is. better example. No, that's, all that's these. The only fucking example. All Fuck these you. red <laughs> warning flashing lights, and instead of like investigating what's causing it, they're just like unscrew the bulb. That works too. Yeah, it works. <laughs> yeah, there's no. There's you got no... one for us? No, fuck uh, him. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's like, he is focused on it. He's like, it's like uh, when we're about to jizz and then you have to pinch it off real tight. So and then somebody puts a condom on it. Because somebody walked in. And, <laughs> no, 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 then, no, no, no. She, and then she they put the and squeezes real hard a little bit. <laughs> Look, we know you're a weird motherfucker, okay? We don't need your sex life. I didn't know how weird he was. <laughs> now I do. So does the bartender. But, uh, hey, yeah. I'm a man. <laughs> well, CB, CBD actually, you know, will bind to receptor sites and activate your um, <laughs> your white your immune system. 
<laughs> so let's say. Are you, are you picturing him trying to fucking <laughs> no. choke out his fucking no. oncoming? We orgasm? broke him. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the whole dynamic. We like, broke the expert. <laughs> let's go, baby. He was like the quiet one at first. I, I, and then oh, you, no, now no, it's you no. guys when the we, weird we ones, and he's the normal one. one. <laughs> Maybe I need to stop smoking weed. <laughs> Fuck. Nah, nah, you actually entered a paradox. We have fun here. Things, yeah. This is, this the, is a this fun is the, podcast. Yeah. So what? I think it's the headphones. I don't know. So what receptor would you say is currently the most binded on you? <laughs> <laughs> the CB3 receptor. Yeah, but the the CB2 uh, receptor as well will like activate let's say you have a broken bone in your arm um or even just a bruise and the cb2 receptors will activate and they will attract your immune system to go to that area and focus on healing um and even on top of the skin topicals i had a really nasty cut on my knee two weeks ago that needed stitches and uh there's no scab anymore because I've been putting my my um, concoction I made of CBD on top of it, and it really expedited the healing process. I've done tons of different self research projects, and uh, so I've been my own guinea pig for 23 years, and I you know I stand by my results. I have a lot of uh, analysis, and I know it takes more than just one. Uh, person to to do research on. To, yeah, to otherwise they call it anecdotal. Exactly, but shit, man, I'm a perfect perfect candidate for this. So, I so I mean, it. what you might be doing is anecdotal because it's only what you're doing on yourself. But you are providing with other people, like you said, you have, um, you know, a couple of different patients, a couple of different like patients well, in the untechnical sense of the term. Yeah, um, he's he's not. Guinea pigs. I don't, I don't want you guys to look him up and pretend Guinea like pigs. He, yeah, he's... Guinea pigs. People, he's... But I have animals that we deal with. Anything from... Oh, we have legitimate actual, guinea pigs. Actual... I, we We've actually got have Leverance. five guinea pig patients. And we work with animals of the horse size that we have completely changed the lives of. Whole other stories. But, um... Wait, horses? No, I want to hear this. Story. All mammals have an endocannabinoid system, Question. which is a unique system. Yeah. Question. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the like, bathroom's that way. You, the guy in the corner. Was yes. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, Steve from the Independent. <laughs> that's me. Uh, so, like how they used to put down horses for breaking a leg, you can stop that. You can stop the putting down. They're no longer glue factory mix. So there's a. Uh, but those poor glue factories. There's there's just a couple of cases where we had a mini horse that was pu- pushed, and the back knees buckled in on themselves, and the horse couldn't hold its weight up. For two weeks, it didn't eat, and just kind of stayed in the same spot, but the knees buckled, and the you could tell that it only had another few days left until it had to lay down and at that point the animal dies so we did a, a event there promoting our <coughs> CBD products and uh, we put some of the of our CBD tincture onto a carrot and my partner fed it to the horse an hour later it was not standing buckled it was standing straight it was eating it was walking back and forth slowly and about two hours after that, the horse was on the other side of the farm, and the homeowners were bugging out looking for the horse. And we were like, yeah, go check it out. It's over there checking everybody out, sniffing people, eating. And they have that same horse on a daily regiment, and it's still walking around and healthy and happy today. So That's I've, freaking awesome. I've noticed dogs are weird about CBD stuff because I've tried giving them CBD <coughs> treats and they're really not interested in eating. You know what? My, uh, Everybody that I know says the same thing. We actually make CBD tincture and we add some sweet terpenes to it and our dog patients beg for just drops of it by itself in the bowl and they lick it out. We, oh. um, mm. my, we have a puppy and it had uh, two puppies. <laughs> Um, one of them, Arbor, 
uh, had um, s the slip disc syndrome. Oh. Um, I forgot what the fuck the technical term of it is, but uh, we found American Shaman, and we started giving the CBD um, treats, and they fucking love it. They eat. They eat it up. They have no problem eating it, and she actually got better from it. Like, well, when you have a slip disc like that, it usually causes a lot of inflammation, and the CBD helps with that. So it just alleviates the pain a little bit. Yep. That yeah. could actually put. And then with that, you 10, can. 10, 15 years on a dog's life. And then with that, with the uh, the slip disc, the inflammation going down, the pain going down, you're able to actually like get them to be a little bit more functional, get them to help have the muscle generally push itself back in with the slip disc. Or support the station, the stabilizing muscles that they need to compensate for their new injury. Yep. Your physical. Personal trainer Personal stuff. Personal trainer stuff, yeah. Yep. I, I also do, like, strength and conditioning stuff, so. A lot of athletes, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I do train strong men. As it turns out, uh, we live big fucking rocks all of the time, and they're dumb. I'm dumb. The he has a big rock in the yard. Yes, the rocks are dumb. <laughs> they have, like, the IQ of, like, potato. <laughs> <laughs> I've met some pretty smart rocks in my time. I met some pretty dumb humans in my time, so... Oh, I met an ass whack of dumb humans. Wait, are we talking about The Rock or rocks in general? Oh, no, I met some very smart rocks. Yeah, the, the Rock, I'll the fight you. pretty cool. I would love to see that. I never said I would win. <laughs> what I said was I'd fight him. I'll call out anybody. I want to go Did fishing. Did you know Susan's stepping yeah, down? Sounds. We went over this. I'm the one who told you in Susan's that episode. Susan's stepping down, so therefore I can't <laughs> fight her no more. Who? Susan. The CEO of YouTube. Uh, we went over this during the Sonic episode? Yes, yes, I remember you talking no, about No, I think that. it was uh, Adult Swim. Was it? Hmm. Either way, can't fight her no more. I don't know who's replacing her. You can fight him? Or her? Yeah, I'll fight them. Or whatever I that person identifies as. <laughs> I'll fight a Z. Either or. Zorro? Just the letter Z. A zebra. Zorro? I will fight a zebra. Z. First off, it's YYZ. YYZ. Zed's dead. R.I.P. It's actually, Neil it's actually Neil Peart. Yeah, R.I.P. Neil Peart. Because they're Canadian. Dun, dun, Neil Peart. Uh, but nobody ever that calls That was it. correct. You can't say Peart. He'll get pissed. That is... <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't... I mean, he won't now. He's very <laughs> dead, but yes. <laughs> he would have been Wait, mad. He where would've. was it? What what movie or TV Beyond. show was it? Aqua Teen Hunger Force, the movie, where he does the ghost so of life. <laughs> Where he comes in and it's like, it's actually Neil Peart. And they're like, oh, it's not. <laughs> uh, oh, that's something Depends else. Depends on what side of the border you're on. That was something else, but I'm thinking of the drum solo of life from Aqua Teen, the movie. Yeah, he can't drum solo of life himself. <laughs> you know? But maybe if we all played together over his grave really loud on our phones. Please rest in peace, Neil. Oh, uh, you were a god among men. You were probably... Top three drummer of all time. Yeah, I don't know. They, can't. if not number one, <laughs> I put him up there. Nope. At least two. Yeah, I'm not. Like I said, he might be number one, but he's definitely in like the top five. He wrote he's, like all those songs. Oh, he was also a great writer. He yes. did write a lot of Russian. You gotta songs. give him credit for that. Yeah. That goes no, 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 no. Nobody, nobody gives the drummer credit. No, but we can. Well, you, you can't because, I mean, he also made the songs what they were of just not only his writing, but the drums themselves in the songs. Nobody cares about the drummer, just like the bassist. Nobody cares. It's all about the guitarist and the singer. Fuck that. Listen, the drummer Sorry, gets all the Lee is an amazing singer. The drummer Water gets too. all the chicks. That's the fucking, that's how That it is not the truth. Bang harder. Drummers that's get all the That's the truth. Ah, drummers get all the That's the, the truth. Chicks. But now, can I insert my terrible joke here? What has five arms and sucks? Octopus. Def Leppard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I get the joke because the Trump. Yeah. 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 Get it, uh, yeah. Hey, man. Shit. We were talking about. I'd go but don't bunch, but he probably could. All, all eight of our arms together. Dude, he plays can't like, play. a, like he a could, drum no, keyboard with his feet. And shit. Yeah, yeah. Is. <laughs> he plays with his foot. He plays with his feet in the uh, arm. He uses like a, a keyboard machine setup. Yeah, I'm thing. aware. Yeah, I'm aware. There's little dudes in Africa that fucking. Playing buckets and shit. Yeah. Dude, they're nasty. nasty. Have you seen Buckets the Horse on uh, YouTube? But will I will but what I would say is Animal, number one drummer of all time. 
Animal? Yes. Oh, yeah. Wipeout? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, Muppets, right? Neil Peart. Animal. 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 <laughs> that's why I'm like, Neil Peart. He's good. He's top three. But <laughs> I can't say he's number one. Animal. Did you see him do uh, the drum off against David Grohl? <laughs> yeah. He's done a lot yes. of drum offs. There was one with, uh, fuck, I don't remember his name. My father's going to kill me. Uh, Richie something? Buddy something? Oh, Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was on, like, the Muppet Show, obviously, but they just they went at it and it was nasty. He's one of those old jazz, like, yeah, 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 rudimentary guys. Oh, it was nasty. You saw it? Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. See, this is why we invite him. <laughs> yeah, we don't Muppet. give a damn about CBD right now. We care only about animal. <laughs> animal. Was, animal. Was, animal. <laughs> yeah, did you ever see the whole thing about like when uh, Kermit broke up with Miss Piggy and got the new hot? A uh, hotter pig <laughs> girlfriend <Yeah>. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the revival. <laughs> He's like, uh, I got a type, and I'm like, oh, no fucking shit. <laughs> There's so many fucked up memes about that. <laughs> and as it turns out, Animal was there to pick up. <laughs> oh, man. We were talking about CBD at one point. Yeah. I think so. CBD what? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> what? Stevie <laughs> Wonder. Oh, yeah, I know that guy. Uh, you mean Charles Big Dick? Charles Big Dick. <laughs> Bring it around town. Full circle. Bring it around town. You're going to be talking to one of your clients. You're going to be talking to one of your patients. And you're going to be like, yeah, I got this new uh, this new Charles Big Dick. I mean, CBD ah. tincture for you. I'm fucking sorry, man. Yeah, you got to <laughs> check out this new strain called Charlie's Big Dick. Or, uh, Chucky. I was on a podcast. They called it Charles Big Dick. I'm sorry. I, I fucking, don't know where that came from. I fucking Donnie hate those dick, guys. Big dong. I don't know. <laughs> big balls, tiny dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice so, car. <laughs> but believe it or not, there's actual there's an actual scientific ratio about that when it comes to mammals. And gorillas actually have gigantic nuts. And but tiny like peckers. Short yeah, like short tiny peckers. I'm so because happy of the that way you their know. Body mass works out. I'm so happy that you know this ratio offhand. I don't know the actual like math How? ratio, but it's just it's. It was on you TV. You think it's you think with gorillas, but no. I don't want to know what you were Google searching. It was uh, <laughs> gorilla dicks. Gorilla glue. Where he was I researching gorilla glue. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where from Charles Big Dick? Let's go. <laughs> it was somewhere on I want to say YouTube. So how does what I, I saw it on, on like a History Channel episode or something recently actually. So. It was probably an episode on Pornhub. So how does one actually extract CBD? CBD Pornhub. So how do they extract it. Yeah. So There's for those of you of keeping score at home, they feet. don't have. A fucking nug sitting on like an operating table, and there's like a doctor who's like scalpel. <laughs> All right, today we're gonna extract the CBD, <laughs> and yeah, they, they fucking. Do. Oh shit! All right, I'm sorry. That's actually exactly what fucking happens. We're just gonna edit that. Part out. <laughs> that's what I do. He's <laughs> flatlining. Oh my god! Get the lighter. Sponge. <laughs> weed's too wet. Sponge. Sponge. Clear. <laughs> Tweezers. Tweezers. <laughs> Scalpel. Scalpel. So, so there's tons of ways to extract. And that actually brings me to... I'm going to blend that into... Um, Charles Big Dick. How'd you know? <laughs> you guys, you guys know Dick? me real well already. Where'd Jay get the... I fit right in. This <laughs> fucked up crew. Can I say that? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. That's cool. It'll edit out. If that's the least of your con- uh, that that's the most of your concern, you have weird issues. Definitely, definitely I'm never watched anything actually that we've ever did. Trying to get out of here without getting raped by this guy tonight. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> oh, uh, this guy's got some big dick. Hey, he is oh. almost a married man. Almost. Oh yeah, you engaged? Yeah. To big dick. Vicar, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> actually, Vicar good old, passed away. Good so old I, Chuck so Big had- Dick. <laughs> But Cousin I, I do. of Charles, big dick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's older now and distinguished. You, you should make what? a giant calzone like a fucking Vincenzo's big dick. <laughs> <laughs> All the meats. The Vincenzo's Trump big bully. dick. I could meats. fucking sponsor that shit. Right, well, that part's yeah, getting edited just out. like that with a fist. <laughs> yep, just fucking just a let's, let's clean it up a little bit. All right. Come on, Chris. All right, so we'll bring it back to our PG. You got some popsicles. <laughs> um, oh, family got oh, our friends. Shit. 
Oh, hey there, little Chris. I love what he going? saves him from the burning house and then runs immediately into his house with him. I ain't seen the paper around anytime soon. You know, soon. With the, one of those trucks with the, the tricked out stickers with the pop. Do you guys want to go play Drake the Night Quill? <laughs> we were talking about how to extract CBD. Well, you, you see, you take a popsicle. So. <laughs> take a little popsicle. Yeah, you so. gotta get the whistle and the S's. I, I usually am better at it. I know what boys want. <laughs> I know what guys like. I know <laughs> what men want. want. Boys like, <laughs> boys need me. I love when he does CBD. <laughs> I love when he does the, no, I've <laughs> the time of my Yo, life. Yo, that's the funniest yeah. And I owe it all to you. <laughs> That is one of the Star Wars one? Yes, that one. We, we are not sponsored at all by Family Guy or Fox. We should be. Seth MacFarlane, please come at me. We should be. <laughs> we reference it enough that Fox is shit. No matter how evil Fo uh, Fox is, they do give some pretty good adult animation. <laughs> So extracting back, back to extract. <laughs> back, back to, back to extract. CBD. Can't do it now, can you? <laughs> CBD. <laughs> I make popsicles infused with CBD. Wait, you can have some in her basement? Yeah, come on down to my basement. <sighs> okay. <laughs> 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 this shit almost over yet. No. Oh, it just started. Uh, Fuck it, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> we'll do it live. It the would be real. It would be a real shame if I just noticed the fact that I haven't hit start. <laughs> Yo. I'm out of here. That's it. I'm going home. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, someone's going to get that joke in eventually. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get hit with an axe. <laughs> I don't even know what the Some fuck days we're you can't get rid of CBD ball. extracting. Extract. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, so we got the flower on the table. You got the scalpel. Okay. Scalpel. Um, <laughs> get the forceps. Yeah, forceps. Uh, <laughs> extractions. Um, there's, there's tons of different ways to do it. Uh, going back to back in the days, in the 18, late 1800s, they were doing it with alcohol. Um, that's been the most Wait, common they were practice. They tracking this shit in the fucking 1800s? What? Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. Um, well, I've, 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 it, was I've it was used for, for medicine. The bottles pretty much said oh, that yeah, those fucking it awesome cured this, 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 and this. It was good for everything. With cocaine. Because it You've had alcohol in, in it. I'm sure they had some with cocaine in it, too. <laughs> oh, Who the fuck oh, knows? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, you can extract with um, alcohol. Um, you could use olive oil. You can use uh, fat-derived things if it's you... a lot of fatty stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Some fat. So I could use a steak? Um, like a Wagyu? Well... <gasps> it infused Wagyu steak. I don't know if that's, like, necessarily the best technique. I would cook it in infused butter, maybe. Yeah, and then put the well, butter on the steak. You could infuse it with fattiness, and Wagyu is fucking fatty. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. You know what? You could probably get through, uh, like, doing it in, like, a sous vide. You put the nugs in. That's sous vide. Yeah, but you know what? If you're going to cook the Wagyu uh, at the temperature and the time that you need to extract and activate. With sous vide? You might fuck up the steak. What temperature and time? Well, if you're actually, allowed to disclose so, okay. this type of stuff. Yeah, sure. Is it sure. Like, common practice is like the higher the THC in the flower, the shorter the time and the higher the temp. Uh, and I'm talking between 220, 270, 280. So if you have like a CBD, actually, so let's go all the way down to the bottom end. Well, you want to do like 220, 50 minutes. Well, when I, uh, when I, so, I made butter once. And I did, uh, I 
I cooked off all the flour for about 30 minutes at about 250. Yeah. And then I put it in to activate it. And then I put it into the, the crock pot with the butter and shit. Okay. So, so can we can we kind of like cycle back? So you know how they have those like those fucking vape bags back in the day, where they used to be the fucking it was like the cone and they had the va- the bag and you used to fucking like get the f- it would be like oh we're vaping. Oh the volcanoes. The volcano yeah, yeah, bags the, yeah, 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 yeah. So you know how yeah. afterwards you would have just like that little fucking nug that looked like crap. Yeah. You could eat that. So that was, is that essentially just CBD weed? No, no, no. There's still activated THC in it. You could eat it and get high. Correct. Well, so what he's saying is, like, yeah. Yes. You're burning, you're trying to single out the THC. I was talking about singling out the CBD. but What's left of that is going to be a lot of cannabinoids that are not activated because they're found deep within. And you're you're kind of like burning the stuff on the outside at that point when you're using a, a like a dry herb vape. So then, like I guess, because the CB the THC is found more in like the crystals, and like that type of stuff. Yeah, and that's so, on the outside mostly. So and that's like all basically on the outside. So that's why when you vape it through that, it's more of like a like a sear, mm-hmm. as opposed to exactly. like a burn. Yeah. So, like because. So what would you have to do to get now the CBD? We're going back to what you were saying. What would you have to do to get that CBD property out of what was left? That from nug. That nug. Well, okay. So that's just because now a matter of it. I'm, not I'm being a, sorry to cut you off. I'm I'm only putting it that way because he's trying to figure out like the extractions parts. So now that we've already taken out the THC through the vape, we're left with this nug that still has the CBD, but what would we do to get that CBD component <clears throat> from said nug that's already strained out of THC? Probably the same way it processes so, THC, CBD in general? And more impor- most importantly, I gotta say first, like this, when you talk about THC, that's a crystal, and CBD is also kind of like that too. Which one was this? Black ice. Straight in the It's nice. Yeah, the so... Taste of peppery. Like we were talking about with the indigo. More about what you're getting from what's left over from a volcano or a dry vape. That nug is going to have more of the cannabinoids. Not the terpenes. Mm-hmm. Not the CBD. Not the THC. It's going to have other different types of cannabinoids. There are tons of them. It's almost like cooking a steak black and blue because it's cooked at such a high temperature so quickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it kind of... There's a lot of factors. You have to know what kind of stove, like uh, temperature your your oven actually cooks at. Um, not every oven is completely accurate. They're all different. Um, the flour that you're you're decarving is it moist? Is it wet still? Is it dry as fuck? Is it crumbly? Is it Super crystally. If it's super, super, super crystally, you want to do a quick bake, kind of like the dry vape. You don't want to put it in too long because you're going to get into the cannabinoids and start to denature things. You just want to activate it real quick. Just burn off the acid, kind of like when you take alcohol, like an Everclear, and you put it out on the counter. It'll evaporate real quick. That's true. The yeah. alcohol evaporates fucking quick. Oh yeah. Doesn't freeze but fucking evaporates. Yeah, it's a similar concept. Um, you ever flash freeze a Corona? No, what happens? Oh, you take like a Corona, you put it in a free, uh, freezer for like 30 minutes, uh, then you take it out, you tap it on the counter, and the whole thing freezes and like that. I've done it with water. <laughs> yeah, you can also do it, because there's uh, like little ice crystals form in it, and then they like expand upon the uh, getting agitated. Mm. Yep. I've broken bottles that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the... I, uh, Teenage days. Oh, yeah. China Just shatter the bottom. The Weird. <laughs> War is the going. only thing that expands when it freezes. Most other things actually tend to shrink when they freeze. Yeah. Water's which, weird. Which is uh, one of the fun facts about Russia. When they make vodka, they just kind of store it in barrels outside. 
and during the winters it freezes over the water that's in it so it actually gets harder and harder proof mm. they just skim off the ice at the top the water that freezes sure, yeah that's smart the russians and I think it's like anything fucking below bears. like twelve percent alcohol content is just a fucking soft drink. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just juice. I mean, it won't stay. It'll go bad. Don't get me wrong; they're not the best people, but they are fucking crazy people. <laughs> we were talking so about extracting weird. CBD. Yeah. So okay. So extracting CBD, like uh, so that question um, was was talking about the cannabinoids. I'm good on that. Um, extracting CBD can go like with THC, uh, high high proof alcohol. <clears throat> that usually has like a, a decent amount of extraction properties. When you get into oils, which is a new modern technique, um, MCT oil is is most common used for CBD. It it kind of stores better uh, in warmer temperatures, so it's more store friendly in, in a lot of states where it's warm all year round, it gets hot in the summer, they don't have air conditioning all, all you know night long, and their stuff, their inventory isn't stored in, in refrigerators, so you can't really use glycerin. Glycerin is a carrier I prefer Good to summer. use because it's a little sweeter. It carries a little bit more of the cannabinoids than the MCT. And it's not as bitter as the MCT. But um, it also is just more uh, versatile what you could do with it. You can't really consume too much MCT oil. It tends to make a lot of people sick. Whereas the glycerin, you can use um, in like a cannoline, not just with THC, but CBD. Where I was speaking about earlier, you need CBD in high concentrates. You can actually get this cannoline and pour it into your drink and consume a thousand milligrams in a day at a decent, reasonable price um, and actually do your body the service it needs. Instead of going and spending $80, $90 for a, a little a dropper CBD product that's out on the market these days um, it's unfortunate because these are the things that actually benefit people um, that have real ailments like cancer or even people that have things that can't be cured by the CBD but it gives them comfort um, so a I thought that THC HIV, AIDS, yeah. so I thought the THC was better for cancer than the CBD not necessarily because um Okay, one of the most um, uh, uh, explored cancers in research is esophageal cancer. Um, and it is sh has been shown that, yeah, it's THC, but also the, the accompanying cannabinoids, it's not sure exactly <coughs> what, can, which cannabinoids and what works better, THC or CBD, it's probably going to be a combination in most cases within the body uh, because, like I said, CBD and THC in the body, they enhance one another. Yeah. Uh, especially when it comes to healing skin uh, internally and externally. So esophageal cancer um, is something that has been explored in greater depth than other areas in research in the United States specifically. And it's been shown to um, stop the process of, um, of regrowth and of the cancer. And it, it becomes a little bit more easy to treat. Uh, I can't sit here and tell you that it It's a wonder it, drug, yeah. And it actually will decrease it, but that's what has been shown this far, is that it actually does decrease the amount of cancer cells in the esophagus and also stops it from getting worse, apoptosis. Hmm. That's just one example. 
and hopefully, you know, within the next decade, we'll, we'll have enough research to have more yeah. uh, scientific data. Yeah, science. Weird Able to say science. Oh, that's a good, good movie. Kind of. It's, it's it is a good reference, but uh, I was more of a Bill Nye guy. <laughs> it is the science guy. You know, the, he is uh, the science guy. The uh, the chick who actually from Weird Science the movie mm. will go on stage with Bastille to do the lines from uh, for the song uh, "Missing You" or whatever. The, however, that's sorry. cool. Yeah. What do you little creeps want to do today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. She'll actually she actually come out and like if they're in the same area that she'll actually go on stage with them and do it. That's cool. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder what she looks like these days. She still looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> I'm sure. But. Yeah, interesting. So why is it if THC and CBD go so hand in hand that a lot of CBD products that you find on the market is uh, marketed as less than 0.03, uh, less than 0.3%? Correct. Good question. So the legal limit for uh, cannabis products in many states um in most states, that's how it started, actually. But now in all states, CBD is legal in the United States. North Carolina has that thing going on with the CBD flowers and shit. But it has to be under Yeah, it has to be under a certain... Yeah. So wait, they, they de-federal it? No, no, or? no, no, no. It's, uh, it's based off uh, medical. Okay, so... Yeah. It's still medical. Because technically the CBD is considered a, med- a, med- a medicinal a medic- thing. Yeah. So... Down in North Carolina, it's considered you're using the CBD for medicine, you know, like a holistic medicine. Yeah. So it has to be. So you could hypothetically, if you take a CBD bag that says under and put your regular flower in it, you kind of because they can't test it. But we're not CBD we're not saying flowers, that you should do. We're not this. telling CBD you how to break the law. Does contain some THC. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You can't but we are it, not yeah. we are not you know telling you how to get away with hiding your drugs, kids. We Although, would never do that. If you do want to hide from dogs, uh, Coffee? fresh meat. Well, the dog, the air for, airplane lines don't have cannabis sniffing dogs anymore. No, uh, federally they, uh, yeah, even here they had to get a whole brand new dogs uh, for uh, mm-hmm. to get because once you get trained on like the cannabis, they can't untrain them, so they keep yep, hitting sure. for it. So they can't do it. Uh, they had to get new dogs for it and stuff, and they even switched from like the. Uh, a lot of places are switching from like the Malinays and the uh, shepherds uh, to, yeah, to uh, more like basset hounds, f- floppy eared and l- less yeah. intimidating dogs. Yeah, even yeah. though bloodhounds are fucking vicious motherfuckers when they want to be. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, they can be, but they're all they dogs so are bred cute. for hunting. What are they called? Uh, basset hounds, blood hounds. Yeah, yeah. blood hounds. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> oh basset hounds are also uh, the little. Those were actually bred uh, bred for hunting badgers. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ears are meant to collect the scent and bring it into the nose, and then they're also meant to go into, like, burrows and stuff. Yeah, because cool. they're small enough. Yeah. I want... <coughs> I didn't know that. Quick sidetrack. I want a uh, Caucasian or charka. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You it's also crazy. referred to as a Russian bear hunting dog. <laughs> it's okay. big. Makes me <laughs> look small. Did you see that video I sent you of the groomer doing that dog? No. Did I not send you that video? No. Oh, I sent it to mom, and I'm like, Jackson wants this, and she's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I personally want the Leon Burger, which is like a... It it's a French workhorse of a dog. The Leon Burger? Yes. No, it's actually a, basically just kind of like a German show dog that's meant to look like a lion. Yeah, they're really not meant for, like, hunting or anything. They're just meant to look very fucking pretty and big. <laughs> <laughs> no, i joke. They're just meant to look like big lion dogs. That's cool. But, uh, now if you want something that's French and, uh, meant for killing, you want the, uh, the Burmanese, I think is what they're called. Hmm. The Burmanese mountain dogs. Those things are monsters. But, CBD is <laughs> sold in less than 0.3% with THC. So actually, alright, so I have my, my CBD retail. Uh, license and uh, I'm flying down to Florida and I um, I went to Florida back in January okay and I was curious like you know the repercussity can, can I fly with this 
Okay. And um, yeah, you can fly with CBD flower. And it doesn't distinguish whether it has to be in your carry-on or your stowed luggage. I just wouldn't smoke it on the plane. That'd be kind of rude. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean... I don't think they allow smoking at all on a plane anymore. No. Eh. Not since the movie Airplane, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen snakes on a plane where they smoke in a plane. Well, there were snakes. It was different circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> they were about to die. It's but uh, these Monday to Friday snakes on this... But the point is like that was monkey fighting snakes on Monday to Friday plane. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds. We had the whole thing in Second Dogs where we went over that little discourse. Yep. Monkeys and snakes. Monkey so, fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. So it's the, for TV, for TV, when snakes on a plane was able to be aired on TV and was getting aired yeah, on TV. Yeah, no, I know. Samuel L. Jackson had to record some lines saying, <laughs> yeah. Dude, frick you. Yeah. yeah, frick you. Yeah. Monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane instead well, of motherfucking did. snakes. They on did a clip where they took every movie he ever did where he said motherfucking... Fucker, fuck. Yeah, motherfucker, fuck. And they did a clip. <laughs> did you ever see the one where they It's probably leave? only like an hour long. That face, yeah. <laughs> oh, look up uh, Scarface, just the good parts, and it's just a supercut of him saying fuck, I've and it's literally six too. and a half minutes long. <laughs> you fucking fucking. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just six and a half minutes of. Not my favorite supercut. Uh, which one's. <laughs> it's ridiculous. My favorite supercut is still John Wick. Wow. Bullets. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. So somebody took the Owen Wilson, wow, and put it to John Wick bullets. <laughs> oh, shit. Anytime oh, he fires shit. a gun, wow, wow. I saw one where it Just was, different wows. I don't know. The Arnold Schwarzenegger one is kind of... Well, I saw one where it was, uh, it was a super cut lightsaber okay. fights, but every time they clashed, it was, do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like, do it. Michael do Jackson? It. Do it. <laughs> uh. CBD license. Florida. Yeah, right. Selling. So, like, who's to say Suck. that the flower I have in my pocket is CBD THC, the concentrate CBD THC? If the dogs can't smell for it, and I can sit here and have my paperwork that says, this you is the CBD papers? that I have, this is under, you know, 0.03% THC, and... Um, I think they kind of just go, I believe you. Eh? You can fly with whatever you want. It has the peppers. The peppers are But, like, this is the age that we're living in now, and I never thought I'd live to see the day. It's pretty fucking cool. Congratulations. Congratulations Congratulations. to all of Americans. America. New Yorkers. New Yorkers. Now let's burn it all. Yeah, fuck the government. (laughs) Two crimes. (sighs) Government, don't even get me started. Taxes are theft. Uh, you know what's not theft? As somebody, as as somebody living off of servants, taxes? Yeah, as people who've been civil servants, taxation is theft. Woo. You know what's not theft? The pizza at this spot. A Non-sponsored. Non-sponsored. I'm going to sponsor the shit out of you guys. Yo, you're crazy. <coughs> fucking awesome. They're nuts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they got knots too. Insane. Good knots. They are good knots. Small, oh, wait. You know what I now have, by the way? Knots. <laughs> One second. One second. One second. I forgot. Full I forgot. You got a garlic knot in your pocket? <laughs> That's not the only thing he has in his pocket. No, 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 no. Even better. Even better. Even better. Even better. I got sent to beans. Uh, what do you got there? How is that better? <laughs> what do you got? Because now I get to throw them at people saying sent to beans. They're magic giant Sensu beans from beans. Dragon Ball Z. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I thought there was like Jack and the Beanstalk beans. <laughs> no. no. But cannabis. He's making a reference. Things? The M&M's. Can you eat these things? Yes. Oh. They're candy. Oh, I like candy. They're <laughs> essentially jelly beans. <laughs> that's not a jelly bean. That's nowhere near a fucking jelly bean. <laughs> Looks like an M&M. It's a Sensu bean. They're essentially jelly beans. A de- what? Sen- a desensor bean or a sensor bean? Sensu bean. What kind of fucking spell did you put on me? It's from fucking Dragon Ball Z Bridge. I'm making a reference. No. 
I'm no. good, thanks. Yeah. I don't know what the hell is going to happen to me. It's not like it's just Gandhi. Into a fucking uh, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm not a, much of a sweet guy. It's like a sweet tart coated in a candy shell. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not a jelly bean at all. It's 100% yeah. a jelly bean. Sure, you're a jelly bean. No. That's rude. <laughs> all right, are we... Uh, it's like a sweet tart coated in a candy shell. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. Yeah. I'd fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I got these so I could throw them at you while yelling sense of bean. I get that. Or the kids. Now I have to show them yeah. that. I, uh, I do believe we have successfully stumbled. Uh, I do believe we have successfully talked about some stuff involving yeah. CBD. We have stumbled all the way down the road. I do believe this I, is time to say... I bid you adieu. Good night, kids. A boonie news juice. <laughs> Good night, kids. Goodbye, cramps. Oh, bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Have some pops. Good night, everybody. See you next time. <laughs>